Org. You're welcome to Dance Balls with Fee Challenge Grand Finale. My name is TJ Amin, and I'll be your host for today. Please give a round of applause for yourselves, please. <laughs> Amazing. The Dance Balls Challenge, virtual dance battle, and series of webinar trainings with the sole objective of challenging youths into entrepreneurship, empowering dancers in Nigeria, and making sure that creative youths in Nigeria get an opportunity to express itself. And with this, I believe that Dance Boss with Kafi deserves a round of applause. All right, so we're about to run straight into this virtual event, but it's important that we pay respect to who respect is due. With love and respect for our country, Nigeria, because we know that Nigeria is a blessed country, full with plenty of potentials, let's sing the national anthem. God bless Nigeria. Please let's have a seat, please. All right. So for those that don't know, the Dance Balls with Cafe Challenge kicked off on the 16th of November, and we witnessed dancers all over Nigeria show talent not only as dancers, but as youths that have entrepreneurial instincts, youths that can achieve a willing to achieve in the country. It was some intense, entertaining, and educating four weeks. And now, today, we crown the ultimate dance boss. So before we proceed into that, I think it's important that I introduce my co-host. And it's important to also note that this virtual is COVID pliant. Remember to mask up, remember to maintain social distancing. The show must go on. Ladies and gentlemen, join me as I welcome my co-host, and she speaks very well. Join me as I welcome Jemima Angolo. empowering these dancers and of course we've also had a lot of challenges as the weeks go by the dance boss with Kathy has been sponsored by the fearless company and they have brought this competition to ensure that dancers are empowered they are transformed and that they use their art for creative empowering things now we're here at the finale and it is my pleasure i've been there right from the beginning and i'm about to take you on a ride now we started this just like my co-host tj said we started this on the 16th of november and it has been one challenge every week these dancers have been empowered by trainings such as finance trainings trainings on entrepreneurship trainings on creativity trainings on networking training on how to use the talents that they have to make sure that they are all they're their own bosses. And week one started off with a challenge which was titled The Fearless Dance Mind. And that was really about telling us that our power is truly not just in our skills, but also our mind has been packaged to make sure that every dancer is of value to their community and is also so transforming themselves and everyone that comes in touch with them. So yes, after the online and present something, and this challenge gave them marks in which brought them to this final stage. We also came with another set. Now the fearless dance body was about empowering the body, making sure the
NHMO, and they joined us on this challenge to make sure that these dancers don't only understand how to work with their bodies, but are also well taken care of with their Cafe Health Plan. Then we moved on to week three. Week three. And um, we see on social media, a lot of attempts at crowdfunding when they run into health problems. We see a lot of young people who've had very, you know, fatal illnesses or accidents. Some have lost their lives. And, and this was a very sad thing to behold. And we know it's preventable. So when Kathy approached us to working together to come up with a health plan, where dancers and other creatives in this industry could, for a little amount of money, have access to healthcare services, to have the greater asset that they have, which is themselves, their body, and their minds be in such tip-top condition that they're able to generate enough income to feed themselves and their family. Um, this is why we're here. I'd just like to say to everyone that's participated in this competition till date, please take care of your body, and your body will continue to to serve you well all the days of your lives. There are people who remain in this industry well into their 90s. I mean, we see them in other parts of the world. They are still professional dancers, they're professional choreographers, they're professional creatives well into their 80s and their 90s. And it's because they took really good care of themselves. So I encourage you all to do that. Get a health plan if you don't have one yet. The Cafe Health Plan is a good one to have. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. from the MD of Yvonne HMO, very insightful speech. I hope everyone got inspired by that. Health is wealth. When you have health, you have the ability to do more. And sir, health is very important. All right, so like I said, we're moving slowly into the moment we've all been waiting for. But before that, I want to let you all know that a dance boss is not just a dancer. Everyone can dance. A dance boss is one who is able to use their talent to create wealth. And that is why this segment that we're going into is very important. Very, very important because you know what's going to happen? We're going to be seeing dancers in a different light, showing that they have the knowledge, the activity, but they also have the mind and intelligence to create wealth for themselves. So before then, I'm talking about the finance, I'm talking about the finalists. You all might have seen them on social media, but this is the perfect time to introduce our finalists. There are five. Amazing five, fantastic five, <laughs> because they fought through hundreds of participants from all over Nigeria to get to this point. Ladies and gentlemen, if your hands are not too busy, join me as I welcome the first finalist for today. His name is Jeremy J. His state name is Priest, and he's age 27 years. Let's give a round of applause for Jeremy J. as he comes on stage. As I welcome on board, the next finalist name is Osas J. Wise, stage name Osas, age 22 years. Let's give a round of applause for Osas J. Wise. Oh. Here with me, Osasha, how are you doing today? Osasha, you're looking dark, you're looking, you're looking, hmm, you're looking take away. Yeah. All right, Osas, so introduce yourself for those that don't know you.
very much Osama. See what I did there? So the next person, I'm just going to call, see, so you know what's going to happen. Our dancers have been on their best game. They don't want to you know, review themselves. I don't know why I did that. But they don't want to review that because I'm so excited. I want to see everyone out here. But let me stick to the rules. I'm just going to call the finalists in the order, introduce their profiles while you get to know them. Then you get to know them more when they come for their presentations. All right, so I'm going to go from the first person, Jeremy J, stage name Priest, age 27 years. Osash J. Wise, stage name Osas, age 22 years. Ajayi Oluwashiun, stage name age, age 24 years. Malik Olani Waju. Stage name Dami Dance, age 21 years, and last but not the least, the woman in the park, Esther Sunday, Queen Excel, stage 23 years. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your finalists for today. Let's give a round of applause for them, please. And the reason why I'm taking my time to do this is so that you can understand the level of this competition. We had a strong panel of people that selected these people today. You're not going to see them, but I'm going to introduce them. On the judges for today, we have renowned video director, Akin Alabi. Let's give a round of applause for Akin Alabi. We also have a dance educator, a dancer, a choreographer, and a veteran in the game. Let's give a round of applause for Lovet or Tegbola. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're on social media and you don't know this man, I don't know who you know because I know him. He's a veteran, he's a choreographer, an innovator, an and yes, the person that created the panel in the first place is Dance Balls with Kaffee Challenge, and we have Kaffee in the building, Dr. Kaffee in quotes. As part of the judges, let's give a round of applause for Dr. Kaffee. All right, so I just gave you a sneak bit into the panel of judges. Now it's time for the first phase. Yes, the first now. And I'm just going to run you through what this is all about. So in this first phase, these dancers, as you know them, will be pitching a presentation for a TV commercial for Fearless Energy Drink. This is the first of its kind, right? Have you seen a dancer? You haven't seen a dancer presenting before, and you're going to see a dancer speak, not only dance. You're going to see the strength of a dancer through his or her words, apart from the body, the movements. Ladies and gentlemen, first on the list to give us their pitch is drum rolls, drum rolls, drum rolls. Queen Excel! Can go carry my paper. Hello. 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 When you hear the word fearless, what comes to your mind? Bold, courageous, gallant, and brave. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Esther Sunday, and I am a dance artist, a creative director, and a kiss trainer. Everyone needs energy to start every day, especially a tired afternoon when, you don't, when you've done so much work. For instance, first slide. The conductor shouts over and over to get his passengers into the vehicle. Second slide. The driver manoeuvres heavy traffic to get to his destination. The next slide. The passengers 
who sit in tight corners of the buses for long hours. The next two slides. The dancers who goes from one rehearsal to the other rehearsals, in all these skills, he or she needs to still deliver. The next slide. The, mark, the woman who walks on the road with the goods from one place to another. Slide. The next slide. The musician who goes from show to shows performing round the clock. All those people need energy to start up their day. A brand like Fearless Energy Drinks has a high chance of becoming the drink for the people. Becoming the drink for the people. Pardon me. That's why the brand Fearless Drink become the household product for most people. What makes, it, what makes a drink preferable over others? It determines on the adverts. It determines on the strength of the adverts. It determines the strength of the advert. What makes one want to patronize the drink? What makes one want to buy a drink? The advert. Three effective things an ad should communicate. One, reliable. Two, whatever the ad is portraying should relate to real life from story, to language, to music, to environment. Endorsement. This is one of the key factors of an ad. I could vividly remember when my favorite celebrity was in an ad. It makes me want to take that drink. And every time I take that product, I remember my favorite celebrity. Before I start sharing my ideas, I would like to pass on the copies of my proposal to the judges. Take it. Thank you. Sorry, I need one. Thank you. Thank you. The fourth is the celebrity car, and the fifth is the performance. Boom. Let's go to the first thing. You all know how Lagos traffic can be hectic, stressful. But you know how Lagos traffic can be hectic, stressful, frustrating. But this young dancer was heading for his performance. Tired, stressed, complaining. Other passengers were also complaining. The conductor, who was also tired from the day-to-day -day job as a shop guy, called up a vendor and collected a fearless drink. He drank the, he took the products, and the dancer was looking at him and saw the way immediately recuperated. His energy was backed up, and he was surprised. The young, the dancer got to his performance, looking tired, stressed, his other colleagues were all dressed up. And they're like, can you do this? And he was like, yes, I can. Not knowing the dancer got the energy drink also. The dancer was supposed to perform for the artist. And that artist was in a video shoot, heading for the performance. Heading for the performance. Only for the manager to get to, only for the manager to hack the celebrity and was like, can you do this? And was like, did you get what I asked you to? 
And the manager said yes and brought out a fearless drink. In the heart, the dancer and the celebrity will be shown at the same time taking the fearless drink and reacting to it. Boom! The, dance, the celebrity, the artist got on stage with the dancer, did an energizing performance. It was amazing with the theme song of the brand and a coordinated choreography. The energy, the vibe was there. So, if my proposal is being accepted, I will create connections to the people. I'll create connections to the people and be on high demands for people to take. Thank you so much. Oh, Queen X2! This way, Ma. All right, so before we proceed quickly, would the judges have any questions for Queen Esther? Which celebrity would you recommend to be in, in this um, commercial? Because um, when you were speaking to us, you told us that one of your, one of the, your favorite moves is um, when you had a celebrity um, do an ad with a drink. And because of that, you wanted to. So when, I'm curious, what, which Nigerian celebrity, if I may ask, do you think fits this bill for this brand. With due respect, I would like to say Dr. Kathy because she has the energy. She will represent the brand super well. Any other questions, comments from the okay, judges? Nice work, Mr. I also want to ask you what kind of music will drive this advert? What kind of music will be right for this advert? Who are we selling to? We are selling to Nigerians. What is trending? Afrobeats. So we can relate to them properly. So I will say Afrobeats. Okay, um, I'm just going to make my point. Uh, based on your performance, I'll say that um, it's very clear that you have a very beautiful creative mind and you really understand the market space that you're trying to uh, sell the product of the client too, so it looks at like its place because you're defending that market space um, very, 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 very clearly. Um, it, I also love the concept of what you did. You tried to marry uh, the industry and connect them to the streets. So you took someone, an ordinary person, like a, a street person, like a conductor and driver, connecting their lives together because they always meet one way or the other in their lives with a dancer, and you now try to connect the dancer with the artist, just streaming those three uh, individuals so you have potential target customers together so that they can see, all see themselves in, uh, in your ad. So I think that was brilliant. However, I would like you to uh, sometimes relax in a presentation like this, always relax. And um, once you know what to say, like what I would do, I don't need to cram my words. I don't need to try to be um, super intellectually perfect. The most important thing is, am I communicating the idea? And I feel that if you relaxed and you didn't rely on what you've pre done an amazing job, because you really do know what you're trying to, to, to sell. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, judges. Thank you so much, Queen Esther. Let's give a round of applause for Queen Esther. No, 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 hold on. Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So, um, nice presentation, yes. Esther. Nice presentation. Um, Kathy has practically said it all, like basically the thing I noted, okay? And I love the fact that, you know, we're engaging dancers into this just for the world to see that you guys can come up from, you know, and, uh, you know, with your dick and everything so that people can understand that they are not illiterate, that we can also come like this, comport ourselves and present to an audience. So it was a good job, like she said, be calm. You, you obviously created this, so you don't need to cram everything that is written on it. Just be yourself, expand on it, you know, it's, 
um, you're going straight to the point of what you're trying to say to us, and definitely, we're definitely still going to enjoy your presentation. Thanks for this. Thank one. you very much. Thank you so much. Let's give a round of applause for our judges. They are the best in the game. They know how it's done. So you need to take cues. If you are watching us from anywhere in the world, it's still Dance Wars with Coffee Challenge, and we are looking at the finalists present their pitch for a TV commercial for Fearless Energy Drink. We're seeing dancers in another light, and I think this is very amazing. Next on my list is Jeremy J. Let's give an applause for Jeremy J. Seriously, you ask? Yes, seriously. People don't care about your brand. What they do care about, however, is what you'll do for them. Now, a recent study shows that 25% of Nigerians, only 25, shop on brand loyalty. To the executive summary slide. With our new commercial idea, our goal is to distinguish Fearless Energy Drink from its direct competitors to increase brand awareness by 10% to 24% in a year, and also to increase Fearless Energy Drink market share so it can take okay. its place at the top as Nigeria's number one energy drink. Now, let's go to the target audience. So, I've, I and my crew have taken the liberty to study your company, to study the brand, to get to know the brand. We also study where you've come from, where you are right now, and where you plan on going. And also the strength, the weaknesses, and the threats that lies ahead for this company. Now our campaign into perspective, because it's not just about selling your brand and also promoting your brand, but it's also that the campaign reflects your brand's perspective. Now our target audience, statistics shows that 65% of people that drink energy drink are ages from 18 to 34. And within these ages, we have, we have the dancers, the athletes, we have the gamers, and we also have people that work in bars because energy drinks are also used as and they are drink mixers. Now to our campaign. We took the liberty of coming up with two cam YouTube and the other one is the TV commercial. Now you ask, why the YouTube? Well, because it's not just my job to pitch a commercial that sells your brand, but it's also my job what is working out there, what other brands are doing and promoting their brands, and what others are doing also that are maximizing their share. The YouTube campaign, we have two dancers in a club turning up. Next slide. And this scene shows and there are various houses reading for an exams or for a test for the next morning. The next slide. It shows both men sitting in class. One has a fearless energy drink and the other one has a coffee. Next slide. Now a split screen shows one of the men drinking fearless energy drink and the other one drinking his coffee. The man who drinks fearless is a lot and happy to have finished his final exams. Next slide. While the man who drinks coffee falls asleep on his exams. Now that is a disaster. So you see, comparative art is very effective because he falls asleep on his exams. And it staggers the, 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 the people in colleges, the people in school. Now they are the ones that are prone to solve the internet. And they are the ones likely to see this art. In the recent study of 30,000 campaigns, 46% will have increased their reach of millennials by combining TV and YouTube, with an average increase of 42% compared to TV alone. Now, that's a big increase. Now, for the TV commercial. It shows a dance instructor teaching a hip-hop dance class. The next slide. But he gets back home, he's exhausted, he falls asleep. He couldn't even get his house chores done. He couldn't even hang out with his friends. You can see them over there. And he even forgot that he has a date. 
Now that is just so messed up. So the next slide shows our guy in the dance academy. Now here is how things changes for our guy. He meets a colleague that introduced him to fearless energy drink. Next slide. Now we see our guy back home. He did his chores, as you can see, there are no clothes lying down around. And he even has enough energy to hang out with his friends and play video games. Next slide. We see our guy getting dressed for his date. This time, he's not going to miss it. The traffic, don't you just hate when that happens, when you're in a hurry to go to a place, but then you hit traffic. But traffic is not enough to stop our guy. No. Why? Because this time, he has the fearless energy drink. He drinks it and he unleashes the energy within. Next slide. Now we see our guy abandoning the taxi. He runs through the traffic, jumping hurdles and jumping challenges. He gets to his date on time. They have a drink, they laugh, and they had a wonderful night. The silhouette fades to the bra gown while the logo of the Fearless Energy Drink pops out and a voiceover that says, Fearless Energy Drink, unleash your inner roar. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much, Jeremy J. Fearless energy drink, unleash your inner roar. So now it's time for the judges to unleash their opinions. All right, I don't have a question for you, but I just want to let you know that I enjoyed your presentation and if I was a brand or rather an organization, I would buy into your ideas. Thank um, you very much. I'm glad that you took out time to not only comport, compose yourself, and then give a clear um, understanding towards your presentation. Yes. And then this, this is one of the things you see in dancers. Not just, it's not just about movement, but also how to talk to brand organizations out there based on proposals like this so, and um, keep up with the consistency Thank you very and much. dream higher. Thank you very Good much, job. sir. Um, yeah. So good to meet you physically <laughs> for videos, but tonight or today I've, I've truly enjoyed your pitch and um, I like the fact that it was different because, I mean, you illustrated using um, the cartoon, pencil drawing, which just really like it's gone on the internet and downloaded pictures, but it shows how much thought process you put into it and um, the statistics that you did um, give to us was phenomenal because that's what every brand wants to know, where they are, where they can be, because it's a journey for everyone and where they can be in one year is not enough. Where they can be in five years is what it is. Um, I like that you use dance. Um, as well as one of your tools um, with, in expressing what the ad should be. But I also would have loved everyday people because the idea, like you said, is people from the ages of 18 to 34, they are the ones who truly, truly um, like the fast lane, want to get everywhere quickly, they want to get every, everything done quickly and moving on. So. Everyday people will also be a great idea. Everyday people will also be a great idea. So also think of incorporating that. In, in case this is picked and to it, who are the everyday people that can, that can be part of this journey as well? Right, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jeremy J. Thank, thank you so much. Let's give a round of applause for Jeremy J. Jay. Very, very, very insightful commentaries from our judges. Further into the competition by walking on stage, the third finalist for today, his name is Dami Dance. Let's give a round of applause for Dami Dance as he comes on stage. Don't forget, this event is COVID compliant. All measures are in place and we are streaming from this studio to the world. It's still Dance Book 2020. Let's give a round of applause for Dami Dance. All right, and don't forget to follow us across all social media platforms. It's Dance Boss with Kathy. 
Facebook, Instagram, Dance Boss with Kathy. It's an amazing community of dancers. It's an amazing community where we're going to learn, where we're going to grow to become better people. Dancers, make sure you follow Dance Boss with Kathy across all platforms. Let's welcome on stage, Dami Dance. So, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Olan Rewaju Malik Damlala. Can you hear me, please? Okay. My name is Olan Rewaju Malik Damlala. I am a professional dancer and a creator. And I am here to pitch my idea on the creative, um, Fearless Energy Drink commercial. Now, as we all know, Fearless Energy Drink is a drink that supplements to the energy levels of an individual by giving it an instant boost. My idea is focused on the energy boosting factor of fearless. Now, if you allow me to show you a video that illustrates half of my story, then the main one I'm going to act it out for you here. So, video, please. And sorry, sorry, before the video comes up, judges and everyone here, please, while watching the video, I would like you to like visualize it happening in your head because there are some captions then and all. So, video, please. Just summarize the video. The video is like three dancers are preparing for an audition. And someone maybe the stage and comes in and like, guys, time to sorry. No, no, I don't need this video, please. I don't need it yet. Thank you. So someone comes in and is like, guys, it's time for you to perform, and they're like, okay, let's go now. So three of them are going almost on the stage, and suddenly, dancer one stops and is like, I'm tired. I'm tired. So just this is dancer two. And this is dancer T. So we are going to the stage, dancer one stops and like, ah, ah, what's wrong? Dancer two over here asks him that, ah, bro, what's up? Are you sure you are good for this? Dancer one, ah, I'm not sure, man. I, I don't feel all right. I'm very, very weak. I haven't had enough sleep. I don't think I can do this. Dancer three is like, what, what do you mean? What are you telling us? You prepared for this and you're telling me you can't do it. Then dancer one replies like, I'm sorry, guys. You have to do it on your own. Then he runs out. While running, both of them are like, ah, come here now. Why are you going to, to do it on our, on our own? Because we can't run out of time. It's already too late for us to perform. So on stage, while they're on stage, the judge is like, okay, let's see what you got. And they're playing. So immediately they start dancing. Probably like the first move. Immediately they do the first move. Light goes off everywhere. The judge is like, come on, ah, technician. Everybody is complaining. Everywhere is dark. Then suddenly, after the technician fix the lights, suddenly the light comes back on. Boom. So this is dancer two, dancer three, about to perform, light goes off. Everybody's complaining. Da, 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 da. And don't forget that someone is already out of the picture. So immediately light comes back on. Boom. That someone is already in the middle with them. They're like surprised. Are you sure you're good for this? You ran away before. Then there's a flashback where dancer one ran out before. On running, he gets to a place where he eats from the crew member's bag. He eats the bag, then the Fearless Energy drink bottle comes up out like this. And he sees it, sees the name Fearless Energy Drink. On seeing it, it's like the name of the bottle is the opposite of how he was feeling. He was feeling very, very tired and weak. There's energy on the bottle. He was feeling kind of fearful, stage fright and all. And he saw Fearless. They were like, ah, let me take it. Even though it is not his own. He took it, he looked around to be careful. And he takes the drink. And in that same flashback, he was the one who put up the light in the first place. In order to make it, after that flashback, he goes back to where he's on stage. Both of them are like, so are you good to go now? Are you sure you can do this now? And he's like, 
I don't think so. I'm still not okay. I am fearless. Thank you. That's the end of my presentation. Thank you. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but I think that this presentation was really funny. We had our judges laugh. Let's give a round of applause for Dami Dance, please. I don't know about you, but I'm fearless. All right, all right, our judges, what do you have to say about this presentation? Okay, let me start from the good part. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice, um, the tagline at the end um, was very nice. But the only, the only issue I have, I have many issues, but I'll just pick one. Probably the other judges can talk about the, other, can talk about the rest. Is that when you're dealing with working for a brand, you have to know, okay, what are the values of the brand? You mentioned two things in your idea or your concept that for me, I think, look, looks like red flags. Mm -hmm. and, and it was not just one, it was two. The first one was when the guy takes a drink that does not belong to him. Mm -hmm. you know, so you ask yourself, is it right to take something that does not belong to you? Is the brand encouraging people taking things that does not belong to them? Yeah.
she starts well with a fearless drink and once you take this fearless drink everything just some info about fearless what you get from drinking fearless drink these are quick info i won't waste your time please next next slide a gentleman so he ceased to dance he chose to dance with her but the energy of dancing was slow because he is he doesn't have energy no more because of the stress of the day next slide now this is jane and jaina after jaina ordered the fearless drink for both of them thank you judges thank you for soul on fire can be a, can be career can be love can be friendship but be fearless about pursuing it don't let one fall for the other try to carry both along and you can do this by taking fearless energy drink starting your day with fearless can help you go far thank you very much I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you so much, Sars JYs. What's a dance presentation without a dancer adding a dance slide there? <laughs> it is impossible. Only on the Dance Boss with Traffic Challenge will you see something as innovative as this. All right, so our judges. Hi, JYs. Um, your animated. Okay. Um, in as much as you know that you're talking to explain clearly to what we want to understand. And then I saw the part, the, there's a part that you were trying to describe the qualities of fearless and you were like, you just sum, up, sum it up like that. I need you to, no matter how long the details are, I need you to break it down. It is very necessary so that we try to understand. It is very, very important. So that way you're trying to convince me. But if I see that you're in a hurry, I feel like, oh, this one would just want to leave. So take note of that, okay? And then in the beginning, I'd just like to comment the intro, what I saw in the presentation, how you design Fearless Dream with a bottle. I actually like that. A, a brand will buy into that idea. So all the same, thank you. All right, um, very good work. Uh, like, as I said, I like, I like the graphics you did. Um, but while you were going about your idea, some things were coming to me as like, uh, what if, or this could have been better if you had just done it like this. And one of the things is this, the idea of bringing like romance into the, co the commercial is very good. But I think that the way you went about it could be better. For example, why don't it look as if the guy wants to propose to the lady? That is, that, that's, that's the do at that date. But he's fearful. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't have the courage to say it or to bring out the ring. And he probably has a friend that is tagging along and he's saying, guy, guy, say, ah, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. I said, okay, take, 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 take this. And he takes the drink. It's called, he's not gets the fear, he gets the boldness to, to actually go and meet the girl and propose this. And I was saying, oh, I've been waiting for a long time. I thought you, I thought you would never ask me. You know, so that, that would have been a very you know, yeah. nice ending and climax. So the whole story. So that's that's just my two cents for you. Amazing one from the judges. It's still dance balls with coffee challenge. We just heard from Osas G Wise with swag. You know, <laughs> you know how we do it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you, Osas G Wise. You can go down. Ah, thank you so much, sir. Job no social distancing. All right, it's still Dance Boss with Coffee Challenge. I'm sure you all have had an amazing time. We have seen the five finalists pitch the Fearless TV commercial. The competition is getting really heated up. Yes, of course. But before then, grab a bottle of Fearless drink and let's go for a quick commercial break. My name is TJ Amin. Let's do this.
Alright, 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 okay. Alright, 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 if you just tune in, it's still Dance Boss with Coffee Challenge 2020! And it's lit, it is lit. And it is lit. That's all I can say because it's been an amazing experience. If you just tuned in, you just missed the dance pitch. Yes, they presented a pitch for a TV commercial for Fearless Energy Drink. All right, so we're already moving into the competition, moving deep into the competition. And this is the part where I get to reward. We get, I get to mention those winners from the four weeks. So if you didn't listen to me when I started this, I mentioned that the Dance Boss with Coffee Challenge started on the 16th of November. It lasted for four weeks, and we saw winners. Yes, we saw hundreds. So the weekly winners get to Dance Boss Empowerment Kit and get to work on with the life insurance plan. The Dance Boss Empowerment Kit is that kit that you need, need as a dancer to set up your life. It's that kit that world for yourself. So before I go into announcements, let you to whet your appetite yes so if you missed this year's dance boss with coffee challenge okay, when you hear that you have to register you will jump you will fly you will dance into the registration form and you will register for the, for the dance boss with coffee challenge so let me whet your appetite in the dance boss empowerment kit we have the boom box that was donated by lg and fearless please as i mentioned these brands please let's give a round of applause for them the boom box that was donated by lg and fearless the backpack donated by fearless Headphones by by Dr. Kaffi. Wow, a printer. Amazing. Gimbal by Dr. Kaffi. iPad tripod by Dr. Kaffi. Sanitizers by Dr. Kaffi. Hard drive to store all your visual content by Dr. Kaffi. The health plan. The Kaffi health plan by Avon HMO. Let's give a round of applause for Avon HMO for helping lives. Yes, the life insurance by Dr. Kaffi. What a Christmas hamper by Adicop from Kaffi Foundation. If you have not heard about Kaffi Foundation, Kaffi Foundation was majorly part of this. You are here to stay and you are here to touch life. So give a round of applause for Adicop. And last but not the least, the dance boss through. All right. All right. So that's just all that is in. Good afternoon, everybody. And, um, I'm making presentations. Presentation is my life. I'm one of them. Feel individuals a wonderful job now i'm here to talk to you about life and life insurance life is not the way we used to in Nigeria. we do not value life insurance that's the truth we don't value life insurance and with what's happened in 2020 and with what's been happening in the dance industry and creative industry for me as an individual policies that i'm running with um insurance life insurance helps me and my family to um, event of unforeseen eventuality for me, my family, and every individual that's a beneficiary under the life insurance policy. I have a 20 million naira life insurance policy. I have a 50 million naira life insurance policy. I have a 1 million naira life insurance policy. What happens is that if by chance something happens to me while I'm traveling, you are becoming a boss. The cafe, um, boss dance boss um challenge you're becoming a boss as a boss it is paramount that your beneficiaries and people that depend on you should have a sort of cover in the event that you are not there tomorrow to take up the responsibilities that you are taking up right now paying school fees um paying for groceries paying rent they should have something to fall back on as a boss it's a no-brainer so this life insurance policy is that if I'm not there tomorrow as a boss, they have something to fall back on. It's guaranteed that you pick up a life insurance policy for yourself as a boss, as an upcoming dance boss. Do already are doing currently, so that you know that okay, I'm doing something tangible for myself, for my family, for my loved ones, for my business. But in the event that I'm not there tomorrow, I'm covered. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to stress myself about it. Nobody prays to 
to go anywhere. We don't pray to die. Nobody prays for that. I was not preaching death. But what we're preaching here is security. With what has been happening in 2020, I don't want to be political. With the SARS, the SARS movement, um, um, COVID-19, most especially globally, it is paramount in each and every insurance policy today. So I would like to uh, commend um, Dr. Kafi for the initiative of telling us to come and um, initiate these life policies for each and every one of the um, contestants here today. And I will encourage everybody here today to um, try and pick up a life insurance policy for, for yourselves and for your family members. So I hope that's good enough for you. Yeah, Thank you very much. Let's smile, smile at everyone here. All right. All right. You heard it from Mr. Offer. You need life insurance. You need, you need it. So moving straight into it, we have announced that the weekly winners will work on sports empowerment kit and we'll also work on with life insurance plan, Cotsi Ico Insurance. Ladies and gentlemen, one, our winner for week one, if your hands are not too busy, please, it's Yes, and they imagine so they deserve a, lo a lot of round of applause. Please, let's jam our hands for Jeremy. This week.